Yes. We have to, of course, speak about Pharrell's human race samba collections that are due to come out very soon or have already come out. And I think they look pretty spectacular. Maybe this is kind of an overall samba celebration because I think we've seen quite a few iterations of them. We've already seen what, um, I forgot what the ones that everyone's going crazy over, the brown ones. I think they're, was, are they Wells Bonner? I think the Wells Bonner sambas have really done pretty well. Um, there's others as well that I've seen from, I think from Iraq and why did a, a pair of sambas that are just basically the classic version with just their name or their brand story written next to the three stripes as human race has done. And there's obviously the sporty and rich ones that I featured before on this podcast. So it's clearly been a concentrated or concerted effort from Adidas to push the Sambas. I don't know if it's an anniversary or whatever it may be, or this is just a shoot that they're trying to have a Stan Smith moment with. As you remember, a few years ago, Stan Smith basically came back into the zeitgeist and became a very popular sneaker again through a very um, strategic and purposeful effort from the people over the Adidas originals to bring them back and make them a thing. So so maybe it feels like they're doing the same thing with these Adidas Sambas. And I, for one, really like Sambas. I wish I could wear them. My feet at the moment are a little bit wide, they're a little bit big, they're a little bit chunky. That's why I maybe don't fit in shoes that are so slim, that have such a low profile and are a bit pointy, don't necessarily work for me. But I've always loved this kind of indoor soccer shoe type of aesthetic. It's something that I've always kind of, you know, um, you know, um, been drawn to especially when i think of some of the earlier sbs some of the fcs that came out back then which i still love to this day which i'm upset they don't kind of come and bring back out again you know made famous by the likes of um what's his face that has uh bianca shandon alex olsen and the other guys or gino something he was also very famous for wearing um astro turfs and of course jason dill in that kind of regard so these have always kind of held a special place in my heart when it comes to shoes so these are the collection let's put this up into full screen so we can kind of browse through the first point of contact that i like is the fact that afro kept the long original tongue on the sambas i think two people kind of cut them or make them short i know that's what happened with the sporty riches i think the wells bonners are really long also and i think some people obviously cut them to make it shorter but i think this is the look that you should be going for anyway sambas look better with the longer tongue whether or not you got them underneath a jean or you got them in front flapped over like some football boots i think they look cool like that so i'm a big fan of that and of course the colorway is banging you've got essentially a classic white and black colorway with a nice sort of suede um, tip here in the front which is kind of classic for a samba um, leather body black stripes and a gum outsole you can't really go wrong with that for the most part the laces look a little bit long maybe it's a one little thing i'd say with it the laces look a tad long for the shoe that you're wearing in terms of it being so small in terms of being them being so low to the proper and having so less and have not having that many eyelets the lacing of course is horrendous it's something that's always bothered me when it comes to sneakers anyway um brands don't necessarily lace up their shoes correctly but that's something i'll speak about another day but i feel like the shape overall looks pretty cool but looking at them from the top down they don't look as pointy as i remember them to be they look a little bit more squared off so maybe i could fit my gigantic uk 10.5 foot into them who knows but i do like the look of them overall i'm a big fan that black and white pair is or the black and gum sole pair is really nice it's got like a gray tip it's an all black body with an all gum outsole and it looks really really spectacular i love this little hair at the front with a little gray hair i think once you wear them in and scuff them a bit that will look really cool as well personally for me and that leather quality is also something to marvel at in it that looks like it's really really high quality leather so i do anticipate these maybe being a little bit more expensive than your regular samba and if i'm not mistaken is what do you call that what do you call that when they kind of seal the the what do, what do you call that uh the finish on the edge it's not a raw edge you know usually on the panels they cut them and it's kind of like fraying it looks like it's been sealed or maybe it's a lever but it looks like it's been sealed so it looks a bit yeah it looks like it's been kind of sealed or some way so maybe i expect these to be a little bit more expensive than the regulars and if i'm not mistaken they look like they might be black wax laces or something so do ex maybe anticipate these being quite high when it comes to retail but i think both pairs look really cool so far from what i've seen i'll definitely wear these within a heartbeat then comes the clothing which i'm not necessarily a fan of it kind of looks like footlocker gear you've got human race kind of written across a polo with some stripes on it you've got a nice track jacket type thing affair a yellow type of track jacket affair which looks pretty nice and again with the human race logo on the back of it not for me personally it's a little bit you know 
a little bit lame. You've got a long sleeve polo top as well. That might be the best piece of it from the collection overall. I think long sleeve polo is quite nice in terms of its look and what it fits like. It looks like it's got like an elongated arms and the body's quite short. You've got the polo again and these stripes with these bright colours. The shorts look pretty nice. Um, what was the material? I don't think it's a suede. It looks like some sort of maybe a polyester. I'm not too sure. The human race logo here maybe that's in 3m not really too sure either but again the shorts not for me personally so far i've only liked the long sleeve polo and then it got the pants look pretty cool the pants are the track jacket i like and i do like the fact that they're not an elasticated hem and they're not like an elasticated hem at the bottom it's just sort of like a wide uh pant that you would kind of be used to wearing from a brand like needles and whatnot so i do like how those kind of turned out i'm not gonna lie but overall solid collection they come in yellow also solid collection i think obviously the sambas in this um Ferro adidas human race collection is the highlight and i think both will definitely sell out quick 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 fast when they do become available so um starting from the article here it's got a second paragraph because the first is always waffle it says coming in night gray and core black and cloud white and night gray the simple contrasting colorways of the samba are rendered in premium leather and suede detailing comes in the form of a lengthened soccer boot style molded leather and zigzag tongues along with the samba and human race embossed markings additional brandings come in the form of a free stripes on the midfoot and heels rounding the design of the shoes with the matching laces and a gum rubber sole units Accompanying the Adidas Human Race sam Samba, Night Grey and Cloud White is a section of ripstop jackets. Oh, it's ripstop that material. Okay, cool. Knit jerseys and shorts and apparel styles brings together the elements of Adidas rich football history and it's decorated with puff print details. The Adidas and Human Race Samba collection will be available from December 2nd. Oof. So get your fingers on the trigger because these are going to sell out. I may try and get a pair. I'm not sure which. I probably won't want to get both. I'll probably try and get the blacks if I'm actually going to try. Maybe the blacks might be the best way to go, yeah, because obviously I like I love black shoes, but I don't really have enough of these kind of white type shoes either. Not too sure what I should get, black or the whites. Probably the whites and it might be the best way. No, actually, maybe the blacks. I may, may go for the blacks. I'm not too sure, but I'll, I'll decide when they come around. But yeah, December 2nd, Pharrell Adidas Samba Collection or the Human Race Pharrell Adidas Samba Collection, wherever you want to put it. December 2nd, watch out for those when they do come out. 